Hello everybody, it is me, it is Easel, and today we will be doing a Rec Room tier list. So, starting off this tier list, this is a weapons tier list, as you saw from the title and the thumbnail, obviously. Yeah, obviously, bitch! Um, and we're going to be ranking every single weapon inside a Rec Room. So, to get this started and kick it straight off, we're starting with the paint pistol. Now the paint pistol, it's a great starter weapon, it's great for paintball, obviously, because it's the weapon you start out with. Um, it, it's great. Close range, long range, you gotta tilt it up a bit, but that's okay. Um, you know, I'd say it's, it's pretty solid, and since it's literally the base weapon of paintball, it belongs in A. Moving on. Oh no. Okay, we got the broom. Okay, the broom is great in screen mode. It's also great in VR because, I mean, you got that long range. It's a lot longer compared to the other melee weapons. So, the broom, I'd say, um, in screen mode, I'd put it in S, but Rec Room's primarily a VR game. So, in in from a melee weapon st standpoint, it would have to be A. Um, the... Okay, the root beer bottles, um, or the sarsaparilla bottles. Um, the, sars the sarsaparilla bottles are amazing. Um, actually, I'm joking, they're absolute garbage. Nobody uses them, even in Isle and like the bar fight. The only time you use them is if you run out of melee weapons. And even then, they're kind of trash, and they take multiple hits to actually destroy a skeleton with them. Um, I'm actually going to have to put them in C. I just realized their tiers are swapped here. One sec, okay. Yeah, I'm going to have to, you know what, I'm putting this in D. Alright, um, <laughs> I had to fix the tears. Alright, um, the Bodor. Bodor is alright. I mean, it's great in screen mode. Thing is, in screen mode, even in screen mode, it makes you, like, slow down. Like, you slow down in screen mode when you use it. It's kind of bum. But it's, it's whatever, really. Um, what else do I have to say about it? I mean, it, it's great in VR, though, because, I mean, it doesn't slow you down. It's super long. It's great. Um, it's basically just the broom again, so A tier. Um, grenade launcher. The grenade launcher, um, it looks cool. It, it sounds good in theory because like boom, splash damage, but you know, if you're really using it in PvP, it's it's not good. It's really not good. It's just such short range, very inaccurate. I know that's what a gr grenade launcher is supposed to do, but even then, the splash damage is extremely low and like, even dual wielding them, it just it feels impractical. It just doesn't feel right. I'm gonna have to put it in C. The grenade only if you're good at the grenades. That's the only reason why you would use them. Um, the grenades themselves are actually kind of trash. Um, I would never use the grenades myself. I've never been a fan of the grenades. But just from the perspective of like the majority of players, majority of players would say they're pretty good. They're pretty all right. But from my perspective, I'd have to put them in B. They're only good if you know how to use them right. Um, the rocket launcher, the rocket launcher from Laser Tag, the power weapon. Yes, um, I don't know how to feel about it. It's my least favorite of the two power weapons over the minigun thing and the rocket launcher. It's, I prefer the normal, you know, machine gun one, not the rocket launcher. But if I had to pick, I'd probably put this in like C. I really don't like it. It takes, there's a big delay behind it. It just, it doesn't feel right. But it's not as bad as the sarsaparilla bottles. Okay, the laser shotgun, you get yelled at a lot if you use this in laser tag. People call you trash. It's like, oh, you're using the, oh, you're using the laser shotgun. Oh, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? But you know, it's actually not that bad. I don't know what people are talking about. It's great. It's fun to use. And uh, for that, we're going to have to put the laser shotgun up there in S. I'd say it's better than the paint shotgun in some situations, especially Jumbotron. I mean, you got like the semi-auto on it. I mean, semi-semi-auto if you really want to call it that. Um, it's got a pretty wide spread, but I mean, it's forgiven for the fact that you just get up in someone's face and just blast all the lasers at them. Um, it's fun to use. It's super easy to use and you can just dominate laser tag games with it. Um, the Paint Sniper. One of the most fun <laughs> guns in the game to use. If you have a Paint Sniper, it's it's just, it's beautiful. I mean, you can use it for anything, really. Like, you can dual wield them, which, close range, long range, it's always good. You can even just no-scope with it, no problem. Like, it, it's pretty fun to use, and like, for that, I'd say it also belongs in S. 
Mm. The paint shotgun. The paint shotgun is it's cool. It's a cool little nifty little thing. Um. So yeah, <laughs> the paint shotgun. I wouldn't say it's as good as the laser shotgun, but it's it's still pretty decent. It's it still gets the hits. It's still. Mm, yeah, it's it's fun in paintball, but compared to the other weapons of the game, if they were all put in a fight together, I would say laser shotgun all the way. But paint shotgun, I mean, it still has its uses, I and mean, as I said, it's fun to use in paintball. But in general, it's a B. It just... Yeah, the spread, it, the spread is shorter. It's a tighter spread, which obviously gives you more accuracy, but even then, it just doesn't feel that good to use. The flintlock. No ma whether it's the crescendo flintlock or the aisle flintlock, doesn't matter. It's only a difference in ammo. I love the flintlock. It's one of my favorite guns in the game to use, especially in VR. It's just, it's, it's dead accurate. It's fun to use. Like, I mean, it's hard to hit your shots, obviously, because it's a single shot pistol. But, you just, it feels like a hand cannon. It really does. And like, <sighs> I just, everything about it, the little bang at the end when you actually fire it, and the, like, the little delay between your trigger pull and the fire, it's, it's beautiful, and I'll, from my personal, like, my personal opinion, it belongs in S. <coughs> the laser SMG, it's trash, it's a a absolute trash, never use it, even in the laser tag, it's terrible, just use the pistol, F tier, even in Jumbotron, it's poo poo. <laughs> um... The laser railgun. The railgun is eh. Like, I mean, a lot of people are really good with the railgun. People, like, obsess over the railgun. But from my own personal opinion, I just... It feels weird. The little sight on it is useless. Uh, the little crank thing. It feels way too small to be a railgun. If I had a longer crank, that would be pretty cool. Um, everything about it just feels wonky. It just... I don't know if this is just me, but like when I fire it, it feels almost as if the laser isn't coming out of the barrel, it's coming out of somewhere that's more towards the top. It's weird. Um, I'd have to put it in C, I'm really not a fan of it. Um, the burst AR, okay, the burst AR, if you're using a single one, you feel like you have no power behind you, it feels terrible. But, if you're using it in paintball and you have dual wheel burst ARs, you're just dominating the match, you're an absolute god, and you're just standing up at the top of a building just shredding everybody. It's really fun if you have them dual wheeled, but if you have a single one it's trash, but uh, if we're just talking about it on its own, it would have to be a B. Dual wheeled though, it would be us, but if it's a single one, eh. Laser pistol, great starting weapon for laser tag. It's also probably the best starting weapon for Jumbotron if you're not glitching the shotgun in. Or the sniper. In Jumbotron, I mean it's it's definitely better than the SMG, but it's it's it, I mean it's fun. Um I'd have to put it with the paintball pistol. It would be an A. The rest of these are just duplicates. Unless we want to count the Cutlass Swords here. The Cutlass Swords, they're, they're alright. Um, not as good as the normal Quest Swords. Um, they feel a bit shorter. They feel a bit, I guess, not sharp. They don't feel right. And I don't like the fact that they make a sheet noise. And like, I, the Quest Swords go, donk, donk, donk. And like, sound-wise, these aren't as great as the sword. But yeah, we're gonna have to put the not 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 D. This is more of a B because I mean it's the same thing as a quest sword. Um, <laughs> but yeah, maybe you don't agree with my list, but this is how I'd have to list it. And I hope you enjoyed. If you think you can do a better version of this tier list, go right ahead. Just look up Rec Room tier list on Tier Maker and make your own tier list. <laughs> All right. <laughs>